playing small friend. No berserking. Oh, what did people want me to play? I think I'll play E4. Ah, yeah, there was a request earlier about the Danish. Okay, Danish Gambit. A Danish Gambit isn't usually so popular at like higher levels. Um, there's a few lines that are considered to equalize for black, but it still can lead to some fun positions. And we have Danish Gambit accepted. We also have Kugelbusch with a raid. Guten Abend to Germany. Or maybe Guten Morgen. Also, how do you say Happy New Year in German? Yeah, shout out to Kugelbusch. I'm trying to remember my the German names for all the pieces. Leufe, Springer, Dame, Konig. What's pawn? Why why am I forgetting pawn? Pieska. Oh bo boa boa or bauer boa. <laughs> Thanks to all the people who speak German in chat for helping me remember. Wow, so knight c6. Like the theoretical move is d5 in Danish. Knight c6 is um kind of accepting the fact that black's not gonna like force simplification. Uh yeah, just to show with arrows, uh, the main line is d5 takes knight of six, takes, 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 and then bishop b4 wins back the queen and um, there's some known ending, which is close to equal. But it would be nice if we don't trade queens early. Thank you, Lek Yam. Says, thanks for the games and for helping me sleep. My pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Ash Brown. First time sub. Okay. Um, yeah, this is like a true Danish. Wow. I really want to take in the 95... Probably oh, doesn't work. And there's queen b3. Queen b3, queen e7. Wait, what if I take and then this? Like h6 is very... It's provoking me to go a little bit crazy. Bishop f7, king f7, queen here. I have king g6, queen f5, king e8, I move here. If king e7, I mean, king e7 has to be played at some point. And then knight h5 threatening knight g6. I think I just go for it. I've already sacked two pawns. Now I'm sacking a bishop. Yeah, the drawback of h6 was um, like it's very weakening to this square. And I mean, the main problem in this line is when I play queen h5 after king e8, black doesn't have the usual g6. So the king's going to have to move to e7. Now it's still not over. This may have been like objectively dubious for me, but it's so interesting. Hey, it's late night wife alert. I wonder if you're related to... Uh, there's another account. My wife is a lawyer. But thanks for the 23 months. Appreciate that. Okay, forcing king e7. I really want to play like bishop a3, but then this move. I mean, knight h4 was my original idea. Now I'm realizing it's not so simple after queen e8. Hmm. Oh, actually, knight c3 looks very simple. Because knight c3, at first I wasn't sure about queen e8, but I just check king d8, take, take, and win the rook. And it's hard for black to win back material. Let's play knight c3. And yeah, this move should be prioritized because it, it brings in another piece. It's all about having more manpower or knight power. 
So I'm down a bishop and a pawn. I'm so glad whoever suggested the, the Danish gambit. Thanks for the suggestion. And I'm happy that my small friend has gone into like the trickiest line for black. Yeah, so we might see knight f6. And then I still play knight d5. And black would ha probably have to take, take. And the knight's a bit uh, questionable. There are cases, it's probably very unlikely, but maybe what's more likely is Ampassant check. I'm already fantasizing about Ampassant checkmate in the line after knight f6, knight e5, takes, takes. For example, knight b8, bishop a3, c5, Ampassant, but it's not quite mate. What's the Omega Gambit? Is that when you just spam Omega lol in chat? and then get banned, dubious compensation. Okay, so we're getting this line. Also, what's up, Gari? Happy New Year to Gari. Shout out to Gari. Hope you're doing well. Oh, this is such a fun position. The king cannot retreat. And after takes, takes, e-files, then very open. So there's how many legal moves? One, two, three legal moves for black. I'm not sure what I would do here as black. I'd probably also take some time. Sometimes it's a matter of process of elimination. Like you, you look at all your legal moves and you see which ones lose immediately. And then you choose the one that maybe isn't so obviously losing. Wow. Okay, we're about to have some fun. Or are we? Where's my, where's my check? I want to play this, but then king f7. If knight f4, the king returns. There's a lot to fantasize about here. So knight f4. Wait, knight f4. King e7, knight g6 here. Check. Uh, not seeing the force mate. Looks really close, though. So. I'd also start with bishop takes f6. f6. But maybe I'll play that after king e7. You know, king e7, I take, and then, okay, some fork. Or, if this move, I mean... <laughs> There's some potential for casting with mate. It's not immediately mate, but it'd be really close. If this move, I mean e5. Okay, no mercy here. So if, I think it's actually force mate here. If king takes, then knight d5, king e6, queen f5, king d6. The king might be a little bit slippery. It's really close though. If pawn takes, and still knight d5. There's a lot of funny lines. Actually, pawn takes, I play knight g6. And king f7, knight e5. A king moves this way, it's mate. King moves this way. Queen f7, king d6. I'm looking for the castling with mate. Yeah, too much fun at that point. Okay, so let's go for this one. Check. Yeah, I'm controlling the squares uh, for the king to retreat to, so it's likely the king will sidestep. And then check. Wait. Yeah, check. Mm. 
Uh, E5. Not so obvious. I'll try this once. King C5. Opponent will probably end up flagging. They're taking a lot of time here. Uh, yeah, let's repeat. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and finish off in style at least. Oh no, my knight. Oh yes, my castle check. <laughs> Not quite a castle mate. Do I sack my rook now? Wait, the king's kind of escaping. How is this happening? Oh, there's a funny line. Look at this line. Check. Oh no, my rook. I think this is the best move too. And then pawn check. Now the king can't really move to where it wanted to move to. Don't flag. Oh no. And now check. And mate next move. Okay. <laughs> How many things did I sack that game? Final position, I'm down there. Rook, two bishops, and a pawn. That may have been the one of the more efficient ways to win, too. Real quick, I'll analyze. Oh, that was so nice. This might call for a standalone YouTube video. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, I hope you're inspired to play the Danish. Also, wait, what? Minus 6.9? I'm losing here? I thought it was forced mate. King c4. King c4 is winning for black? No. No. Knight d2. King b4. a3. King a4 is winning for black. That's insane. That's really crazy. I was losing here. Was casting queenside? Wow. If I don't play e6 and find the maiden nine, at least find the first move for maiden nine, then white is much worse. So what's a maiden nine? e6, king d6, and then castle queenside. Uh, and then, yeah, then just have too much fun. Knight e5, king b5, queen b1. This is how the engine finishes things off. And then sack the rook. And then deliver mate like this. Did I have missed maiden two? Really? Oh, I had maiden two. Ah! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a little bit smoother. I played this thinking like everything would win. Okay, that was a funny finish. It was Bishop F Bishop F seven had to be? Oh, it wasn't good. Really, King E seven. Ah, uh, no, I don't have this. This, and if this, then Queen E eight. Yeah. Okay, I could have been much worse there, but the the dubiousness paid off. I think that was still YouTube worthy. People in in the YouTube comments can criticize me if they want. 